Hello my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In yesterday's video we wrapped up Garrus's personal quest and I'm attempting to romance him allegedly. I feel like Shepard's flirting is oh so awkward but um <laughs> maybe maybe it will pan out well for me. I just feel like it's a romance that works. Of, of all the people on the ship she's known him the most and the longest and I feel like that that should just work but um like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But we are going to land on Zeta Bond because I picked up a quest when I came to this system yesterday where we need to go rescue some slaves and... Oh, loyal. Hang on. He is loyal now. Area overload. And it said he had a new outfit. I wish I could turn him. That's the one I had him on. That's the one he came with that's all destroyed. And this is his upgraded destroyed version. Hmm. Well, let's bring him because I want to see what his new abilities are. And then we'll bring... Um... Someone biotic, maybe. We'll bring Miranda with us. It's been a while since she's been around. Okay, she's got eight points. Can't do warp yet. I probably should have done warp instead of overload, but it's fine. So your pulse now damages synthetic enemies so brutally they explode upon death. And then area overload. I feel like I'm gonna go with the area one because I feel like I went explosive with somebody else. Area is probably more useful. Armor piercing ammo. Increases damage to armor and health. Oh, how is that a thing? Okay. I feel like I shouldn't need to double check, but I feel like I, I need to double check. Widow. The Widow's a good gun. It's a great gun. It's a cannon. But uh, at the same time, I, um, I wish I had more than one shot, <laughs> but that's the offside or the offset of it being so powerful. Why do you keep resetting her SMG? That's really annoying. I am detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Yes, but we need to save the workers, AKA slaves that are already down here. That's, I'm assuming they're slaves. They're blood not blood hunt it's blood something blood pack there we go kalusk you'll get your resources when they're good and ready you want to come mine these rocks yourself everything will be ready for the attack if you've gotten me the additional vorcha i asked for it would be it would have been done by now salamo well you guys sound horrible let's go over here first I should probably save. For reasons. He's very blue. Which is fine, I suppose, but like. I feel like he sticks out. But then again, his last suit was glowing, <laughs> so not not any better. It's really pretty. All the waterfalls. You know, if the slavers weren't here, <laughs> might be a nice place to come visit. Alright, let's go with Inferno, and then we'll try out his armor-piercing ammo. And then... Okay. Understood. Rearming. Hang on. Kalusk, I'm sending back two of the Vorcha you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These piss poor shots are more likely to blast the broadside of one of your generators and hit their intended targets. Maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamn assistance. Salamo. He sounds a little peeved, right? And I hear Vorcha. And I can't save any longer, so. Okay. 
feel like I even see Borcha over there. Enemy! Shooting it. Oh, they're down there. We got some shot ready. The shields have failed. Good now? Okay. I need some more ammo though, please. Ah! And there's my ammo. Six hundred palladium and another data pad. Kaluz, because some of my Vorcha have gone missing. I need more if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. I don't care, don't care how you get them. Ask Garm for his extras. He has to have some cast-offs that are good enough for mining duty. Garm, is that the Krogan from Omega, maybe? And also, shouldn't you like be sending him this in an email and not just leaving it on a data pad for me to read? I mean, it's not like he can do anything about it if he doesn't actually receive your messages or do you expect that he just wanders around like I do <laughs> and and stumbles upon these things I know I'm being a bit silly but look out uh. and stay down. Okay, let's try to sniper these guys if they're duty. Ah! I got it! This gun really is nice. Didn't one shot that guy. Nice shooting! Thank you. I learned from the best, Garrus. <laughs> you taught me all you know. See, there should be some sort of flirting going on now. Although flirting while you kill people, maybe that's... Maybe not so much. <laughs> I'm just as bad as Shepard is. Alright. Save and... Up we go. I'm assuming we're going up. Because there was another level up there. Or not, we're going down. Heads up! Because of shot ready. Um Oh overload deployed. Seems to be that right now. Let's take a closer look. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Find palladium. had to... What is it Edie said I had to do? I don't think the journal updated. I had to destroy some things. Let's let's save. Maybe, maybe it's this. Maybe? Can you guys stay there? Of 
course not, Miranda. It just runs right in front of us. Come Crap. on, we need to leave. Crap. This might be useful. I do appreciate Shepard's, this might be useful <laughs> after I've completed the mission. But what happened to all the workers? Did they get out? Let's let's believe that they got out. But anyway, I have, I'm up to level 21, another squad point. Demolished a blood pack weapons production facility, decimated blood pack of Vortish soldiers. And then a heavy weapons ammo upgrade, 7,500 credits, and then some palladium. All good things. Have any messages? No messages? Let's see. Huh. I still don't have. Hmm. Oh, heavy weapons ammo. There we go. Yes. M920 cane. What is that? The effectiveness and efficiency of Mass Effect-based weapon technology has rendered large-scale deployment of highly explosive weaponry all but obsolete in infantry weapons. Normandy scientists have prototyped a modified version of traditional high-explosive rounds that is applied to a 25-gram slug. When accelerated to 5 kilometers, the round is devastating. Though a technically inaccurate label, this prototype weapon it's nicknamed the nuke launcher. Oh, really? <laughs> like a mini nuke launcher? And his high explosive matrix generates an archetypal mushroom cloud on impact. Inflicts high damage with a large area of effect. Very effective against armor, shields, and barriers. Ooh. Any, anything? I feel like that's it. Well, let's go to my armory. wonder where it went. I mean, it's fine, I suppose, but codex entry. Let's read that. New or weapons, armor, and equipment. The collector's part. The M920 cane is a portable particle accelerator surrounding an array of dust form element zero chambers. This weapon prototype subjects its ESO to extreme positive and negative currents to project mass effect fields. By increasing and decreasing mass, the fields shear the target's mass the way disruptor torpedoes do. The shearing fields collide ambient materials at such high speeds they create mushroom clouds, an effect otherwise impossible on the small scale. The weapon induces neither fission nor fusion in non-nuclear targets and its own nuclear reactions are shielded by lead alloys. The M920 cane uses graphite rods as neutron moderators, which require frequent replacement to sustain power. Fortunately, most heavy weapon ammunition can be refabricated via Omni-Tool into graphite rods. On the fly. That's extremely useful. Do I have... <sighs> Cryo ammo? I mean, like, I'm tempted to get cryo ammo, but like, oh wait, oh, wait, wait, isn't there a thing over here where I can, hopefully I do it right. Advanced training. Yes. Armor piercing ammo. Let's choose that one. There we go. Increases damage to armor and health. Okay, I'd rather have that than like flashbang grenade or whatever else I had. I won't, I won't use it. It's like I want to because I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to play Andromeda because it's part of the series and I just have to know what happens. Um, and I feel like it's not Shepard related, but I, I still have to know. But anyway, I, as much as I want to try like and, and have powers because someone was explaining, um, that you don't have to pick a class, you just select powers. And I want to pick like cool powers to use, but like, 
I do that in games and then I just don't use them. It's really kind of bad <laughs> and and upsetting to some people, but it's it's fine. I'll, I'll worry about that when I get there. Okay, only one more system here. So let's do this real quick. So named the Shining Sea in an old Volus language, Bovis Tor is so named for its boiling surface rich in glowing hot alumina flecked with dark ridges of carbon. Its thick atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen is no indicator of life since the temperatures are simply too hot. Yeah. Probe away. Only three, so not too terrible. Why am I complaining? I love doing the planet exploration. <laughs> Talisphia is a planet capable of supporting life if that life happens to breathe ammonia. Is that what the Volas breathe? I feel like I should know this, but whatever. <laughs> Discovered by Asari explorers, the planet was used as a bargaining ship by the Citadel Council, who quickly drafted a colonization agreement with its wealthy client race, the Volus. Okay, see, I, I was right. <laughs> the council would fun fund the Volus colonization effort in return for massive trade benefits. With uncharacteristic enthusiasm, an enormous Volus influx ensued, and the council reaped the economic benefits for a dozen years before the colonization bubble burst. Today, the economic good times on Talisphia are long gone, and modern Volus businesses are cutthroat operations. Piracy is a grave threat to shipping as well armed criminals see the volus as easy prey i mean on one hand it would be exciting to like go colonize a new planet and be like the initial people there and explorers and all that fun stuff but then on the other hand pirates and death and all sorts of awfulness slavers coming by your planet you're outside your protective zone so you know not not not, not as much and then a colonization bubble burst it's all your effort for naught Anyway, so a nice giant does a tab Sky Warden has a bluish bluish tinge from its hydrogen methane atmosphere. Its axial tilt causes its seasons to vary wildly in temperature. Probe away. Hi. All right, so I am going to ever so slowly. Let me just actually before I say what I'm going to do next. Let me just double check that was it? the strike abyssal is done. Okay, so as I was going to say, I'm going to make my way ever so slowly back to the Shadow Broker's ship, and then we're going to read all about Thane Krios. But because it takes me so long, I'm just going to meet you there. <laughs> so it's been telling me the last two times I've been here, I have, a, I have a ship available in my cabin, but maybe I need to find something to click on it. Now, I know I was just here in yesterday's video, but I want to check the security cams. See if there's anything new. It's possible, right? It's probably not, but it doesn't hurt to check. I feel like one of you mentioned I should come here after like main missions and companion quests or something and- Aria Talok, Omega. Yeah, I saw that one. Emily Wong, Citadel. Oh, that one. Fred Mazai, Citadel. <laughs> He's like, yeah. It's like when you're trying to practice standing up to your boss. <laughs> Donnell Udina, Citadel. Oh, that one. Armando Bailey, Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavorn, Omega. Yeah. Hmm. Kalisa bin Sinan oh, yeah. Angelani, <laughs> Citadel. You shouldn't laugh at that, but... Keeper 20, Citadel. Yeah, it's a Krogan. He, like, ran over a Krogan, maybe? Or the Krogan just, like, died on its own, which I feel is, like, very unlikely. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. <gasps> this is the one you guys told me to zoom in on and relook. It looks like Liara. Is that Liara's, like, other mom? What? not Torsk, Tachanka. Oh yeah, we gotta go to Tachanka relatively Elias soon. Kellum, Omega. Yeah, he gets run over. 
He just this asshole. Just doesn't even care. Sorry, I swore. I Jacob know. Taylor. Normandy, SR2. <laughs> I need to bring Kazumi with me because she would love this video. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Aria Talok. Okay. Omega. It was Liara, wasn't it? Liara's like other mom. Liara, she had to have seen this. So Liara knows where her other mom is at. Oh, wow. Okay. Was there any survey info? No. And then I get deliveries here, don't I, as well? Sniper rifle technology. An ex STG weapons researcher has sent a schematic. That will improve sniper rifle damage. Thank you. And then iridium. Yes, please. Yes to all, please. And then before I do dossiers, let's look at my investment opportunities. Probably nothing. Oh, report. Success. You pocketed a slice of the credits raised at this week's Extranet fundraising telethon. I feel like. I feel like that just I need the money. I need the money to defeat the collectors slash reapers. So it's 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 worth it, right? <laughs> That's what I'll keep telling myself. Okay. Let's go to Thane Krios. Drell Assassin achieved top ranks in Hanar training programs, responsible for one hour massacre on Omega. Advanced Keprel syndrome makes neutralization a low priority. His kill methods for his preferred assassination methods <laughs> for humans, rear approach, check shoulder to prevent turning, hands to chin and base of skull, neck snap, alternate, check and grab shoulder, arm around throat, grip jaw, single arm, neck snap. He didn't use that on, oh, she wasn't human. Uh, sorry, front ap approach, throat punch to collapse airway, Arm control lock to neutralize biotics, advanced hip throw, grip chin and scalp neck snap. Alternate, warp field on biotic barriers, step past, kick to back of leg to collapse knee, step in with knee to spine, grip chin and scalp neck. He likes to snap people's neck. That's what I'm gathering here. I feel like it would be more efficient to just shoot them in the head with something. That would be faster. You don't have to get as close, but maybe he likes anyway. Turian, side approach, low kick to the knee, grab arm, and pull into broken leg lock as Turian leg stiffens in pain response. Finger stab under jaw if unarmored, or I grab head fringe, surprise, a neck snap. <laughs> I should not find this funny. Alternate, front approach, paired punches to vulnerable plates just below eyes, drop elbow to collarbone, front leg sweep while vaulting over target and wait for it, spinning neck snap. Oh, it's a variety now. <laughs> Krogan, top approach, double strike to eye ridge, slide down between blinded targets, rising arms, precision nerve strike to throat, secondary nerve strike to counter blood rage, quad kick to bend target, grip each side of skull, running leap, spinning, spinning neck snap, alternate bomb. <laughs> I mean, if I last fail, let's just blow them up. Medical report from Dr. Chakwas. Lung capacity 42%. Left side lungs show large lesions. Right lung has nodular lesions only. Antibiotic treatment now resistant to cipoxidin malarin. You know, he's resistant to this medicine. Metastic progress. Stomach, liver, minor, heart negligible at this time. So was it like cancer? Maybe? Anyway, treatment options, very viable transplant candidate, but refuse to be added to the list. I mean, excuse me? Synthetic lung generation, currently impossible for Drell. Therapy and care. At this time, Mr. Creo should continue getting regular cardio cardiovascular exercise in order to stimulate lung movement and prevent or delay the stiffness that causes lack of oxygen transport. 
While physical stimulation may also be beneficial in keeping tissue flexible, any injury at this point will dramatically impact Mr. Krios's body and cause rapid degeneration. It is unclear how much longer Thane will be able to serve in direct action. Thane should continue to wear loose clothing that leaves his chest uncovered to prevent moisture buildup that could worsen the problem. The drill eidetic memory is often beneficial in allowing drill to escape unpleasant scenes by losing themselves in happier times. I feel like, isn't that what Liara's friend was trying to say or had mentioned briefly, but because I hadn't recruited Thing yet, I didn't actually understand it completely. The guy who was on the shadow broker ship and going through all that torture, that's probably what he did as well. But anyway, I'm off topic, sort of. In this case, however, Mr. Creos should try to to restrict the time spent reminiscing as prolonged sedentary activity may increase the rate of lung degradation. This suggests that what is best for Mr. Krios currently is to continue to remain active and to engage with other team members in order to stay mentally and emotionally stimulated. Okay, was there gonna be an update for Garrus? No. Oh, does this kill list updated? Cause that would be no, it's not. Okay. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Info Drone. You're so close. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to head back to the Normandy and then we're going to head back to the Citadel. Keeping in mind that I've got a side quest that I need to work on as well when I'm there. In theory. Oh, sniper rifle damage. I need to go and take care of that before before we get off at the Citadel, because I feel like, oh, that's right, I can just press my mouse on the screen. It does it much better. But anyway, I feel like, doesn't Thane have sniper rifle stuff too? Maybe, if I'm remembering that correctly. Citadel. Again, I feel like 12 loading screens later. It's fine. I I I complain, but it's it's all in good humor. Oh, can I? Oh, I didn't want to go just yet, but we'll bring Thane and hmm. He's biotic, right? He's got warp throw field shredder ammo. Um, so let's bring. I feel like I brought Grunt with him before. Let's bring Morden. I like Morden. Actually, no. We'll bring Thane and Tally. I didn't really want to go to the Citadel just yet, but it's okay, I suppose. Let's hold off on his upgrade because I should get um I should unlock that other option. That looks good. CSEC appears to be investigating the death of Sedonis, Shepard. They currently have no leads. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Okay. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing that they're investigating the death of Sedonis, but it, it should be fine, right? Let's see if there's any new news updates. An is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. I feel like that's new, but it probably shouldn't be. The wreckage of the freighter Tur-Alan was found on an uncolonized planet in the Dranic system. Salvage teams reported no survivors. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering okay. complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. Okay, that, that one I know is a repeat. Okay, so my journal for Thane, Sins of the Father. This is one where we gotta find his kid before he becomes an assassin. I am, okay. 
Thane has revealed that his estranged son, Kolyat, has taken a contract on the Citadel as a hitman. Thane needs to find his son and stop him from making the same mistakes Thane made so long ago. But, like, Thane doesn't seem to be apologetic or upset about his mistakes that he made in the past. I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every ten minutes. I don't want to wait that long. I can't make the shuttles go any faster, sir. You humans are all racist. How did we get to that from the shuttles taking as long as they take? I... Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh. Talk to Thane. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. Maybe you should, I don't, I don't know, um, go in and let them know. I feel like those guys being in there is something new. Access denied. Yes? Ah, Thane's son. My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drow here. There we go. One of my men reported a drow recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What's a duct rat? I don't... Yeah, duct rat. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Is that safe? Probably not. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. You could have just said yes. Yes, they're extremely dangerous and no, the children shouldn't play in them. You could have you just said that. I mean, I didn't need the specific blow by blow of how children, unsupervised children, die on the Citadel. That's awful. Anyway, Mouse's crimes. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Ducked rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Excuse me? Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. <laughs> That's pretty extreme, Shepard. <laughs> Laugh it up, Tolly. <laughs> Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. His eyes are really blue. I, I know, totally off topic, but his eyes are really blue. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. I it sounds should. like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Why would you help? You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. That's... so... That, that, that's lovely. Let's get started. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. No, he, of course, yeah, of course not. I mean, like... <laughs> I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? <laughs> I take your point. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> you're well, I mean, as well as you're like, um, of course not. Why would I tell the police officer you murder people for money? <laughs> Again, that's totally a renegade option, which reminds me. Um, but like, I feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> it should be a common sense option. Okay, so we need to find Mouse near the Dark Star on the upper market level. And I also need to find 
A person who needs to for a forged ID has been located while assaulting Harkin's hideout. It may prove useful to somebody. So find someone who might make use of a forged ID. I need to figure that one out too. Oh, look, it's my Krogan. Okay, I'm going to go to the shops while we're here. Ooh, sunfish. Oh, and there's another ship model. Yeah, I do listen to you guys' tips occasionally. Um, is there another shop over here? Yes. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice corality. What cooking school did you say you went to? I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? It's on level 23. Ask for their tummy tingling to chunk of sauce. Maybe he likes to cook at home, okay? Maybe he wants to make his own tummy tingling sauce or something. It could happen, right? Okay, I feel like this is the correct direction for the... What was the name of the place? Dark Star. It's the bar slash club over here, I think. Very slowly gonna make our way there, as usual. Pistol damage. Aegis Vest. Sentry interface and Umbra Visor. Let's get the vest one. I don't know that I need it. I'm holding off on this damage. I've got all the damage resistant upgrades, but I'm trying to get, oh, there's mouse, sniper rifle and assault rifle. You know anyone who plays that extra net game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news though. I, what are you trying to say? Hmm. Nothing to say, news lady? Okay, I guess that's it. I thought there was another shop over there. Dark Star, and then there's a Mouse, so let's save and talk to Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, yeah, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit more time. It's not my fault. Nobody told me the package was in two parts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll get it. Don't worry. End of day, no later. You can count on it. I... I understand. That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepherd VI. Hey, Lavola's worked real hard on that. <laughs> I feel like this conversation that we're only getting one side of A shouldn't be had out in public and be escalated extremely quickly. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> you know Thane? Yeah, it is surprising. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You used a child for that? You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? They can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Hmm. Will protect you. I didn't feel. I don't feel like Thane's very. I know he's an assassin, but I feel like he's. I don't know. I don't know how best to describe it. But he's not a renegade assassin. 
especially not now. Maybe it's because he's dying. I don't know. I feel like I'm making my argument very poorly, but I I'm, I'm going with Paragon, not Renegade, at least for now. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Elias Kellum. Yeah, about those Shepherd VIs. I want one. <laughs> Let's go way off topic. One other thing. That Shepherd VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. I want one. <laughs> Give me a copy and we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. Okay, now we'll talk about Elias Callum. I feel like, didn't we see him in some of those security camera footage videos on the Shadowbroker ship? Tell me about Callum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about 10 years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward, Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Hmm, you made a smart choice. Okay, bye. That's it? You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. You're all right, then. I feel like... Mouse would be the person to give the new ID to, but really that's not happening. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. Hollow of Mouse. I mean, they were like your little sparrows. <laughs> but Hollow of Mouse. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. It's not your fault, knock off the mopey crap. No, 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 it's not your fault. I forget what that's a reference to, but it's fine. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Or you can just do what I do and worry about it later. <laughs> like, much, much later. So much later that you forget about it. So let's see. Talk to Bailey and bring Elias Kellum in for questioning about Kolyat's target. Okay. I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. Okay. Like. Fine. I. Yes, I already came in here. I want to actually go to the other side of the citadel real quick and see if there's anything else there I need to go and purchase I feel like there isn't but I can't remember so I have to go <laughs> and I would use the transport between the wards but oh I'm tempted to ask about his fish but I feel like that's going to get me into a whole conversation that I don't need to have right now that's the food and then, oh, they're all the same car. Hmm. Whoa. Come on, let's go a, little, a wee bit faster, Shepard. No, nope, there was nothing here. I feel like there were shops over here though. Yes. 
I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. It is, isn't it? So, Archonvisor, okay. And then one more, and then that's I'm this. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I mean, all of them are my favorite stores, especially when they give me discounts. Okay, well, I think I'm going to pause here for today. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to meet you at the CSEC security office, and we'll talk to Bailey and interview this person, and as usual, go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect 2 video.